My name is Sparkle, and I work with Amplify Georgia Collaborative, a collaborative of non-reproductive justice orgs throughout the state of Georgia. And today we're talking about our fake clinic suck campaign. So who do we have here with us? I'm Cupid Valentine. All right, Cupid. Um, so what do you know about fake abortion clinics or fake clinics? Well, I know that they're deceived young and impressionable girls, and they basically say we're going to give you the abortion that you need, but eventually they just go ahead and try to, like, don't get an abortion, and they push religion and few things of the sort like that. Yeah, so basically a fake clinic is an anti-abortion center that tries to deceive women or people that are maybe pregnant about the options that may be available to them, about when they can get care, and the goal is to kind of limit reproductive freedoms. What kind of deceptive practices do you think they might be doing to kind of get people into these anti-abortion centers? Right? Well, I'm a little vague on a little bit of the knowledge before what I witness in TV shows and stuff like that is they'll just mark it like they're a happy-go-lucky place. They'll be like, you know, we'll basically keep all of your information private. And then on top of that, from what I've noticed and what's happened to a few friends of mine is they'll mark it to them and be like, we'll make sure you're safe. We'll get you the abortion that you need, get you all the aftercare that you need. They get in there and boom, this like religion, don't have an abortion. If you have an abortion, you're going to hell, stuff like that. And it's just really like, I personally find like it's disrespectful to those women and girls who may really need that because they can't financially support a child at the moment or they might not be in the situation where they're able to support themselves and a kid. So fake clinics use a lot of deceptive practices like the ones that you were talking about. They try and get people in um, through using deceptive practices online. They kind of mirror that of what an abortion clinic might I actually use and they also tend to be really close to those actual abortion clinics but of course when you go in they actually don't do abortions there and then they also kind of try to prolong the process of women getting abortions some states like georgia have a six-week ban so they'll kind of try and keep pushing until they kind of push them to pass the term limit so they have to carry the full term wow. How prevalent do you think these fake clinics are? I'm starting to think that they're everywhere because with a lot of the stuff that's happening within our nation now, and especially with the abortion bans that have been going on, I feel like they're going to be popping up a lot more than usual. Yeah, definitely. So in the state of Georgia alone, they outnumber real abortion clinics five to one. So that means for every one abortion clinic you might have, there are five more fake clinics somewhere. Um, that doesn't make no sense. That is a shock to me because I'm not sure how women go through that. And I honestly feel, I feel for them. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel for them and I can't understand it completely. But I hate that women have to go through that because, again, they might be in situations where they can't have a kid or they might be abused or, unfortunately, they've gotten assaulted or they just might not have the financial, you know, support system that they may need. So to have those rights taken away from them is like, that's just beyond disrespectful and it's very dehumanizing and I hate to see it. What care do you think that you can get at an anti-abortion clinic? I honestly don't think you can get any care, at least from what I feel knowledgeable on. I feel like you're more putting strain on your mental health versus, you know, actually getting the care that you need, getting the resources that you need. You actually can't get any real health care at an anti-abortion center because there are no licensed medical professionals there. The center is literally just there to push their messaging and kind of deceive these pregnant women and, again, delay their pregnancies and push them to full term so they can't get actual reproductive health care. Where do you think they're getting the funding from this from? Like, How do you think these anti-abortion centers are getting paid for? I have one or two options. I would definitely say conservatives and people who are in high class and they have a lot of money. And I'll also say the government as well, because they already have the money. They're already funding a lot of things. And, you know, we don't really know where our taxes go through completely. But the fact that they're really outweighing a lot of the Planned Parenthood places, they get in the money from somewhere. And it's got to be people with power and money. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. So some private groups may be funding them, but mostly these anti-abortion centers or uh, fake clinics are getting their funding from our taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. So the taxes that we're paying are ultimately uh, funding these anti-abortion centers or fake clinics. Do you think these clinics should be shut down? Um, like overall, like what's your take on this and what do you think the next steps should be? Well, one, again, as I said before, it's very and extremely dehumanizing, especially against women who are, might not, again, not, not have the financial support they need or might not be in the right situation. The way that we can honestly change that is by educating a lot of these young girls. I do honestly want this to be able to change because we as people do need stuff like this. You don't want to bring a child into the world that you're not able to raise. It's really a lose-lose situation when you look at it. Yeah. So that's what our whole Fake Clinic Suck campaign is about. We're trying to just, A, let people know more about Fake Clinic since a lot of people just already don't know. And then we're also just trying to work to defund these centers because they're ultimately deceiving people that may be pregnant um, about their reproductive choice. We want pregnant people and just all people to have autonomy over their own body and their choices about their reproductive freedom. So thank you for doing this interview with us and have a good day. Thank you for having me.